What's going on there? What's with the jacket? Can let me know. <gasps> no! How's it going, everybody? My name is Swingpoint, and let's continue the Wolf Among Us. Episode one: Faith. <laughs> We're on Bullfin Street, huh? So, in case you don't know, what happened last time is we were introduced to a couple of characters. We were introduced to Toad, Sheriff Bigby, which is this guy here, Sheriff Bigby Wolf, who I think is a werewolf who's got anger problems. And also we were introduced to some hooker. <laughs> and there was a fight between a hooker and a drunk guy, and we helped the hooker out, and now we are just trying to see what's going on now. So we're at the Woodland Luxury Apartments. Uh, let's take a look at that, I guess. Luxury Apartments? Wish they wouldn't advertise that. I think this is where Wolf lives. I, c I could be wrong. Anyway, let's go in here. Enter. Fables, created by Bill Will Willingham. Fables, at least in the last episode, are apparently these tough-ass creatures that look like humans that... Actually, that's really all I got. They, they look like humans, and they are hard as hell to kill. We stuck an axe on the back of a guy's skull, and he... Who are you? Is that Little Red Riding Hood? Oh, look at him. What do you do? Oh, shit, I gotta talk. Come on over here. Come on out. All right. All right. Beauty. <laughs> Hello, Big B. Who are you? Stay off the grass, lady! I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. But yeah, it there's does. An explanation. Why'd you I hide? Swear. Fine, what what, what is it? Hide? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Fair enough. No. Can't. Damn it. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Alice in Wonderland, anybody? <laughs> Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Who's Beast? He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Um, just um, um, uh, 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 I've stayed out of it. No, I'm Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I'm okay with that. I oh. don't have time to go into it right now. Her name is Beauty. Okay. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Beauty and the Beast. When I think of Beauty and the Beast, I think of a new book of fables it's entry. Not what you might be thinking. Hmm. What might I be thinking? I don't even know what I'm thinking. Please inform me. What am I thinking? I don't know. What is Wolf thinking? Did you see those little things on top of the gate? Kind of look like two pig cupids holding up a globe. It's one of the little things I noticed. <laughs> how are you today? Are you doing well? Comment below. Tell me how you're doing while we talk to the sleeping cop. No, actually, I don't think we're going to talk to him at all. <laughs> I just have to share this with you before we actually get into the gameplay. You know how I like to do my holidays, right? Well, the holiday last time I recorded, I forgot to tell you guys, it was so funny, it was National Housewife Day. And now, usually that's, I mean, that's that's cool. Housewives are getting a little bit of representation. But it also was National Sandwich Day. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. I mean, I hate the stereotype and all, but it was just too funny. Anyway, let's look at this mailbox. Been a while since I got any mail. No one likes you, Wolf. You're an asshole. Let's see if you got any mail. Oops. Seventh day in a row. At least he's not getting bills. Looks like he lives in room 205, I'm guessing. Let's take a look at the directory here. 204, maybe. Hey, my name isn't on 204 anymore. Well, that's a crocket. <coughs> anyway, sorry for swearing. I might quack that out. I don't beep. That's boring. I quack. Um, Let's look at the desk first before we try talking to this guy. He's living the life. Getting paid. Sup, guy? Hey, you wink? No! No, he's not awake! Look at him! Probably for the best. What kind of dumb question was that, Wolf? Come on! 
<laughs> My catch needs to dust this guy. Can we touch it? Ugh! It does need to be dusted. That's disgusting. Anyway, let's keep on looking through what's going on around in here. I guess we gotta go upstairs. You know what? Let's see, look. Yeah, I love the art style in this game. You're gonna hear me say that over and over and over again, because it just looks so awesome. Like, it has the same style as The Walking Dead, but at the same time, it's definitely more of a comic book type feel. In terms of colors, I don't know. I guess they're both based off a of comic book, so I don't know. But I, there's definitely a lot more colorful. Whoa! It's his twin. Hey, wait up! What's up? What's up? Hey. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Son of a bitch! Uh, 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 so, uh, 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 u
can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Uh, don't be a pain in the ass. I'll oh. tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Get a glamour, or go up to the farm. It's not complicated, Colin. Lectured <sighs> by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. Why am I such an asshole? Ah! Is that for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. Sorry. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Let's take a sip. Why not? YOLO. I'm sorry, Colin. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> I was just hungry. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. Okay. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you true. can't change people's memories either. Why well, can't you? I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Oh, they kind of beat the hell up, yeah. You got a point there, dude. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? Yep. I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Uh, okay, I didn't. Sure. Silent treatment. I can do the same. No, I like talking to you. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You didn't give me enough time. No, don't remember that, Colin. Damn it. I think my job is easy. You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? Oh, they're so hard to kill. I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. And a By wolf. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> I was gonna drink out of That's my cup. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. No. Not everyone. The hooker. Name one. The hooker. I don't know her name. There was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. <laughs> awesome. Great example. Damn it! <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. I'm sorry! I didn't... That doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, <laughs> enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second-story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give Colin a drink. Let's be a good guy. He looks thirsty. There you go, Colin. Oh, he looks so happy. Thanks, Bigby. No problem, buddy. We'll stick your snout in there. <laughs> why does he got a snort while he drinks it? <laughs> why you, seriously, why do you gotta do that? So, yeah, he definitely has a troubled past. That's the vibe I'm getting here. What's going on here? Well, let's go check out the door. Shut up! I'm coming! Stop it! You are the most obnoxious knocker ever. Hello? What's up, lady? Big B! Yeah? Snow? Come with me. Who's Snow? We talked about Snow just now. 
trying to remember what we said about her. Oh, Snow. God. Worst memory ever. Snow. What? Hi. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> what uh, is it? Uh, what, what happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... <gasps> Who are you? Hi. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. She's got nice, pretty blue eyes. <laughs> yeah. Security office, Bigby Wolf. These walls are paper thin. So we gotta be quiet. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Sounds good, Snow. Hey, she's even got snowflakes on her uh, on her little blouse thingy. That's cute. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, so much going on, I can't talk. Ooh, what's that? Is that my coat? I mean, I'm a cop, right? Could be mine. Huh. There's a lot more thinking that I have to do in this one than I did in The Walking Dead, that's for sure. What's going on there? What's with the jacket? Don't let me know. <gasps> no! Oh! Knew this girl? Is. She's not a Mundy, right? What the hell is a Mundy? I got one friend. Who was she? Some I hooker. I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. She was a working I girl. Can't place her, though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't. I mean, I'm a working. Okay, she was a hooker. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, now you get it. Damn it, man! The woodsman. He attacked her. I stepped in. Then he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he? I yeah, he think did. Anything yet? Just give me a second. Screw the woodsman! It's just terrible. Who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? <sighs> no. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a what? murder in Fable Town in a long time. Oh, okay. I thought you meant All like All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Damn it, man! Ah! Around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Ah! Just got a friend! Colin was just saying a wolf has no friends. I get a friend and then this happens. I just kill her right away. What bullshit is that? Ah! Uh, what? Examine? Uh, uh, yuck. Let's examine the mouth. Look at those lips. Ooh, she got something in her mouth. What is? Let's touch it. Oh, yuck! Oh, it's a gum. It's her ribbon. It's shoved in her. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Why is it in her mouth? Neither do I? That's really interesting, actually. Huh. Well, let's save the neck for last. Huh? Let's take a look at her head. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Duh. What kind of monster would do this? Put her on the steps. Of course it wasn't just tossed there. You don't toss her on the steps. Okay, I guess they did do that in these games. They kind of stay obvious things, so I should be nice. Strange cut. What did this to her? It's disgusting. What could do something like that? The woodsman! There's something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Magic, obviously. Sharp is too boring. I'm going with magic. Ooh, blood trail. God, I'm still pissed about that head, man. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. You should be sorry. No, you should. I'll, I'll calm down. Um, what, what do you want to do next? 
I want to investigate more, man. I want to know what happened. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. Good idea. It is a good idea. You know what? I think that we will investigate more next episode. Um, we've already been recording for a little while here, so I think it's a good time to end this episode. I really appreciate you guys watching. I... T I'm... Why do they have to kill her? I want to know who did it. I want to know why they did it. I don't know if it's like a... Something beef with her, or if it's a sign towards Wolf. I want to learn more about Wolf. There's so much going on that I don't know. There's probably something I can read, like Fable Stories Unlocked. That would give me a lot. I actually just learned a bunch about the story here. Each one of these characters is a common Fable character that we know outside of the game. I will let you know more about it in the next episode, what I read up, and it just explained a whole lot of the story. Including Bigby, who is the Big Bad Wolf from Little Red Riding Hood. I, I kind of had that idea, but I didn't know it was actually him, so... I'll let you know more in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode, and have a great day. Goodbye! Hey there, YouTube. It's Swingpoint, and I'd just like to thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate your time. And just a reminder, if you did like the video, to subscribe at the bottom of the video. Anyways, that's all I got. Have a good day, and see you next time. Oh, yes! And uh, right in the knee! Uh, ah! That's gotta hurt so bad. Ooh. You guys don't play nice.